Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Danny. So Danny is a voting game and a deduction game in which you have hidden rules. So this is a game for th 3 to 8 players ages 16 and up and it plays for around half an hour. So this is a game about uh, being in the head of Danny and Danny has voices or personalities. You will have a personality card that is dealt to you at the beginning of the, of the game. You can be either a personality or you can be Danny. There is only one Danny card though and depending on what you are dealt you have a different objective. If you are a personality you want to cooperate with the others, you want to try to minimize Danny and if you are Danny you want to chase all others by misguiding them. So the way that plays is basically once you are dealt that you are going to go through several rounds of the game and in every round there's going to be an active player and a decisive player, which is the player at the right of the active player. The active player will flip an idea card uh, which has words, so concert, solitude, prison, belief, and Christmas. And then, for this one, and then that player is going to draw a choice card. And the choice card is going to have a very simple figure, one to four, uh, to five, and in this case, it's two. So uh, the active player is going to draw that card and having two here means that I have to uh, make an image with these memories, uh, which I will, I'm going to show later. I'm going to have an image that represents solitude and the other people have to guess solitude. So I'm going to draw seven memories, uh, four, six, seven, then I'm going to look at them secret secretly. Again, I'm going to show them to you, but it's secret. As you may see, these are black and white pictures with um, weird or abstract or conceptual pictures. And you don't have to use all of them. You can use mul multiple cards. You can use them the way you want. So I'm going to select a few of them. So for example, I just want uh, these... Uh, these three and I may flip them and place them in any order. It's not something in which uh, a game in which you will place a card and say okay that's it guess. You're going to be able to cover the cards. So for example if I don't want the stairs I'm going to be able to do this and again if I just want the um, uh, the guy part of the card to represent solitude I can make my arrangement like so and I have a guy sitting on a throne by a wall. This is very good. And I'm going to show that arrangement to the other players once I'm satisfied of it and they will have to guess. I cannot, as the active player, give any hints as to what I uh, envision there. So then the other players might argue about what word to choose, but it is the decisive player which will have the last word. And that decisive player will maybe say solitude, in which case it's a good point. It's a point towards the personalities. If there is a mistake, if for example they say prison, we're going to flip that card to the other side and it's a point for Danny. But Danny should not rejoice um, blatantly because Danny has to say uh, discreet until the end of the game. Then we move on, we discard the cards, uh, we shuffle the choice card back into uh, this deck and we move on to the next player being the active player and the next decisive player moves as well. And we're going to do that until the end of the game, which is triggered one of three ways. The first way is if the personalities uh, line up six different cards, uh, so if they guess right six times. And if, I, if they do, this is the end of the game and they win the game, basically. The other way it can end is if Danny has three cards on his side and this means that we are going to trigger the final twist. The other way we can trigger the final twist and enable Danny to win is uh, if a player cannot fill their hand with seven memory cards. If that happens we go to the final twist as well. What is the final twist? Well in this phase of the game the players are going to argue and vote for the player they think is Danny. So they are going to argue, vote at once, and then the player with the most votes to, to them is going to reveal their card. If they are a personality card, Danny wins because he's been discreet, he has misled other players uh, discreetly, and he wins the game. If the revealed card is Danny, 
Well, the uh, other personalities have won because they have collaborated well enough. So this is at the same time a hidden social uh, agenda game, but it is also an idea game with these pictures that you have to arrange. So if you play as a personality, your goal is to cooperate. If you play as Danny, your goal is to mislead other people into believing uh, different things, but you have to be discreet as well. That's it, you know almost everything there is to know about Danny, so bye bye and see you on ludovox.fr.